So, hello guys, welcome to lesson number six. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to finalize your track before doing the mastering. So, we already mixed every channel we have on the track and process everything in the track, but what we haven't do is grouping everything and preparing it by 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 the balance so and we wanna and we want a little bit of squeezing everything and 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 glue everything all together so what I do my way to do it for me the best is to glue them by 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 the type of the group so I start with grouping everything that relates to kick and bass line so it would be uh, the normal kick and bass line and the eye cut which is this the kick and bass line that I, I cut off their, their, their low frequencies below 150 Hertz so I want to group them all together since I've already grouped it everything so this is the group channel and what I have here is a release uh, placed on 500 attack set on 10 ratio on 4 and threshold is very very gentle we don't want to over compress it but it is it should be we should see a reduction around minus 3 minus 4 minus 2 but we don't want to see a reduction we want to fill so let's just give it a listen gives so much power and and power and presence to the kick and bass line so that's what we want that's what we have now after we done this we want to move on to the drum loop drum loop as you can see I color everything that relates to the same type of sounds my drum loops are always green my kick and bass line always red orange yellow yeah uh, so yes this would be my my group my sounds i want to group uh, of the drum loops also here i already grouped them let's mute these so in this group i decided to use this this fast compressor uh t-rock which is highly recommended uh, Release for me set on, on, on auto, attack set on 30, ratio set on 2, and, with, and the threshold should be enough so you can see a reduction around 2, minus 2, minus 4. Very gentle. This is what I do. Some other producers can tell you you should kill the threshold and see even more reduction. I like. I don't like my sound over compressed when, when it comes to, to drum loops. And the next thing is a saturator. I use pop filter session 2. Also very gentle. I, I just give it some boost with the dynamic band 1 and, and, and with the drive. I put it around 50 degree, uh, 50 percent, sorry. And here it's with makeup, but let's say without the makeup. You can feel the width of it. It's you can you cannot miss the difference of what you're getting when you do this. And let's go to the vocals. I go directly to the vocal. So, on vocals, this, these channels would be what I group on vocals. This is the vocal vocal group channel. Here I have again Fab Filter Pro, Pro, uh, Pro C, sorry, Fab Filter Pro C2 because um, I like it. It sounds good with vocals and uh, release is very short on 40, attack set on 30. Her, uh, ratio set on 151 and threshold also the same enough to to reduce around minus 4 minus 3 
we don't want it over over compressed or we want it compressed enough so you can you we won't miss every any details from the vocal so yeah that's what i do with the vocals and probably the same what i do with the sense also very short release very fast attack threshold also the same i don't want to over compress it i just want to give it a presence so after we, we grouped all of them we want to make sure our master, master which is set our bus compressor on the master channel would be ratio for attack 10 release would be on auto and uh, we don't want to use the i eye pass and threshold would be enough to compress with reduction around minus two minus three You could see before it was minus four. Now when I, I, I refreshed it, it was minus six, four, six, one. When you master a track, you should you should have enough space to 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 boost with a limiter, but it should be around minus six, minus three. So it's it won't be too quiet but not too loud. So you can push it up with with uh, with all the mastering kind of uh, processing so as soon as I've done everything this tool for is I want to make sure I'm well balanced with with a professional master track so I start always with the low I pick for example this part when I know I have most of the elements uh, if not all the elements on it and I want to just give it a listen and see if I'm good If I feel like there's too much, too much low in my bass line, I use this tool and I can play very, very gently and figure out how I can make it sound even better. But as soon as it sounds better, I move to the mid. Sometimes I can give it a look on the, on the phase analyzer. And as long as it sounds good, it is good. So after I've done all of this, I can I can export the project on a WAV file or AAC and yeah we can move to lesson number seven and go for the mastering so far lesson number six let's go to lesson number seven <laughs> 